Hello. I thought I'd give you a quick tour of an experiment we're running in the uh, greenhouse this year. It's May 6th and as you can see we've emptied out the greenhouse. Everything's outside uh, in the process of being planted. So we figured we'd I'd run a, a Dutch bucket hydroponics experiment here with some tomato plants during the summer see how it works out. If it works out well we'll probably expand it next year. But I'll tell you what, it sure is nice not having to water these things, having it on automatic. Uh, basically, we picked up this idea from MHP Gardener on YouTube and uh, converted it to our use. The only real difference between the two systems is he used square buckets and I'm using round. Uh, mainly because I couldn't find any square uh, food grade buckets locally. Uh, I was able to find some round ones uh, at a local supermarket that dealt in a lot of bulk foods. Uh, Winco, as a matter of fact. Uh, so let me take you a quick tour of what we have here. Down here at the uh, the uh, return piping, uh, it's just a standard PVC 2-inch two inch, two inch PVC piping with um, um, some strapping tape and uh, the one half inch tubing for the return for the water and there's three of those and we drilled one and a half one and a quarter inch diameter holes in the pipe uh, for the drainage uh, now on these these here I did cement them outside the bucket because I really didn't want to have any uh, leakage but inside the bucket where you put the other um, uh, elbow on. I didn't, they're, they're not uh, glued, they're just press fit on. Uh, as far as the bucket goes, just standard vermiculite and it's put inside a five gallon paint strainer which keeps all that vermiculite from actually going down into the drain tube and back into your bucket and into your pump and screwing up the whole works. Uh, as far as the sump goes, well, this here, uh, this is the um, return, uh, the, the, the sprinkler set up for the uh, for the for the water. I'm going to change this out from a 90 degree to a 180 degree to get a little more flow out of it. It works okay. I just had to up the time that it stays on to get enough water through it. Uh, as far as the sump goes. It's just a standard rubber made tote. And what I did was, you can see down here a number written on the side. That's the number of gallons uh, that's, in the, that's in the tote. There's an extra one gallon in each with one of the buckets, so it totals out to be 15 gallons. Uh, where that helps is here with our, when we use the, the pure blend tea, we mix that up once a week and pour it in the sump. Uh, we just mix up 60 milliliters for 15 gallons and run, I let the system run. The pump itself, which you can't see it down there in the bottom, it's a 400 gallon per hour pond pump and it goes, it just try, it tied into this half inch tubing here and distributes out through the, uh, the, the other tubing. It's just a standard uh, uh, irrigation tube I picked up down at Home Depot. Uh, half inch tube here and I think this is quarter inch or eighth inch tube with uh, press fit barbs. Yeah. And that's none of that's leaking so that's doing well. Uh, what we'll do is over the summer we'll come back in here and give you updates. These tomato plants you can see right here. I started them from seed about January 5th or 6th and they've been a combination of growing indoors under lights for a couple months and then about March I stuck them out in the greenhouse and let, let them continue from there. So they've been gone about you know, almost five months now and they're pretty good size and they've all got blossoms on them and they're getting tomatoes on them. I'm waiting to see how they do here in this greenhouse. It's hard to tell how much light they're getting with this uh, this corrugated uh, overhead uh, transparent stuff. 
Uh, but we'll see. If it doesn't, I'll take this whole this whole shooting match and just pull it apart and move it outside and in the sun and run an extension cord to it and see what happens. Also, you can see in the back here the little timer we picked up from a local grocery store. Uh, we have it set to go off three times a day for about an hour each time. And that's, that seems to be giving these plants more than enough oil than what they need. They've been in here about a week now and they're looking pretty good. There wasn't even any transplant shock, which, I'm, which shocked me. Uh, we had, they were in soil, so when we planted them, we had to actually put them in a bucket and wash all the soil off the roots and then put them inside the vermiculite. And like I said, no transplant shock. Good deal. Well, that's about it. We'll be updating you more as the uh, summer goes along, so watch for them. Thanks a lot. Have a great rest of the week. Bye.